everyone, hope you're all doing really, really well. Welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be, um, I'm going to be including it into my New Year New Me series because I feel like it is needed in this series. And I'm going to be giving you my top five style tricks that would help boost your personal style and build your self-confidence. Let's get right into it. Everyone has things they love and hate about their bodies, but it's so, so, so important to find out what your best assets are and showcase them. If you're a pear shape and you're not very confident with your hip area, wear darker colours on the bottom and really bring the attention upwards. If you're an apple shape and you have such amazing legs, show them off. All of my clients that I work with, mainly new clients that I work with, they always say, oh, I don't want to book you now because I want to lose weight. I can't work with you right now because I'm not happy with my body. Stop right there. Dress your best right now. We all have to feel confident in our bodies. We all have to love ourselves and self-care is so, so, so important. If we're not looking after our bodies and we're not loving how we are right now, you're not ever going to be. If you want to lose the weight, you're putting more pressure on yourself to lose the weight. Because if you don't reach the way that you want to be, you're going to be stressed out. Love the body you have now because you are beautiful. Whatever it is, use it to your advantage. Nobody is perfect and nobody is expecting you to be. So don't please anybody. Love yourself and love who you are right now. It's all about trialing and erroring. I always say to my clients when we're shopping, if I pick something that they're not very interested in, I always say try it on. If you don't try it on, you're not going to know if it suits you or not. And you're not going to know if you love it. You might see it looks different on the hanger, but when you do put it on, it's such a big difference. Obviously, if it doesn't work for you and you're not very confident in it, then we'll leave it, like literally. I always say just try it on. Experiment as well with styles that you're not very used to wearing because it's all about seeing what works for the, what works best for your body shape. Don't get stuck in a rut, try new things and take risks. Trust me, you'll be surprised. People respond to colour and it's actually so true that certain colours express your current mood at that moment. Learn what colours give you that instant mood uplift and build your self-confidence. Get to know what colours suit you and use them to your advantage. Everybody that I work with, they say they're so afraid of colour. They're used to wearing black, they're used to wearing navy, they're used to wearing grey. And they are good colours, but sometimes wearing the dark colours really does distract your mood. Like it really brings down your mood and that is not what you want. In order to build your confidence, even though black is very flattering on everybody, but certain colours does really express the mood and it really does lift you up even when it's like, you know, London, it's very, very grey and it's not very, it's, we don't have a long summer. So wearing colours in the winter does really lift your mood. Wearing a bright lipstick can instantly change your whole outfit and it will easily boost your self-confidence. Trust me, try it. Dressing for comfort is so important. And I don't mean being comfortable in like jogging bottoms, a baggy tee, a really oversized jumper. If you don't feel comfortable in the clothes you're wearing, chances are you're not gonna be confident, you're not gonna be feeling confident in yourself either. So you can wear like a gorgeous top, but if you don't feel confident in it, if you're not happy with like a really low neck, if you're not happy with it being really tight, that is not you being comfortable. You have to find the right fit that is really, really showing off your body really well. And if you're comfortable wearing it and you're not showing too much skin, make sure you're showing the right amount of skin that you're comfortable with. As overexposure, one way that you can instantly feel uncomfortable. If you're not happy with your arms, wear something that's maybe three quarter length sleeves. If you're not happy with your, um, your chest area, wear something that's a bit high neck or something with like a illusion neckline that gives you a bit more of a coverage. <music> Fixing your attitude is so, so, so important. And most of us, we really self-doubt ourselves. We really, really bring ourselves down. We'll be saying to ourselves, oh, I don't like how I look in this top. My boobs look so big. 
my arms are too big stop right there fixing your attitude and if you feel if you really feel confident in what you're wearing say it say it out loud oh i love how my arms look in this dress i love how my boobs look in this dress i love how my bum looks in this dress i look really really hot like literally say if you feel hot and you feel very sexy say it say i feel so sexy in this dress i feel so positive like say positive things and say it out loud say oh if you're gonna if you're gonna go on a date and you have something you're wearing something that you feel really confident in i say i feel really good about myself today i love what how my dress makes me feel it really brings me into the ways it really shows off my lovely curves you need to speak it out loud you must act confident to be confident wear the clothes don't let the clothes wear you which is what i'm saying if you're not if you don't feel like if you feel like it's just something that's on you that means the clothes is wearing you and if you feel like it's all fitting in the right places and you know it's the right size that means you're wearing the clothes have faith in yourself don't doubt yourself fashion is all about having fun trying new things being a bit different stepping outside your comfort zone really exploring with different colors really exploring with different prints what i really want to be is my best self every single day because I've really had a journey of my style and I really want to do a video about that, about my style journey of how I've been from even when I started my business, which is why I started my business. And I really want to take it, take my style journey from school days into right now. I'm going to do a video about that coming very soon as well. So stay tuned for that. But that is my five tips and I really hope you like them. Um, really take them into account and really use them, which is really, really helpful for my clients and um, i'm really going to use them as well because i feel like sometimes if i were not wearing something that i'm comfortable in i just really self-doubt myself and i don't feel good for the whole day so if you use positive words and if you really really see yourself as that as as you feel have fun with it so i hope you like the video and give it a thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment in the comments box below and don't forget to share as well. So I really, if you feel like someone needs this, share it with them. And I love to hear the, um, your comments in the video and what you thought of the video. And if you did like my five tips. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.